The Metro Transit Police Department's helping Minneapolis police uh, step up patrols in a hot spot for crime that saw back to back shootings over the weekend. Friday and Saturday night, shots rang out on the same block near the East Lake Street and Hiawatha Light Rail Station. A teenager was killed and three others were hurt. Renee Cooper has been covering the story all weekend for us, and she joins us from Metro Transit Police Headquarters. Renee. Lindsay, I spent some time with Officer David Tan today. He says they'll be helping MPD indefinitely, stepping up some extra patrols. You'll be seeing more of Metro Transit Police Officer David Tan. I grew up here. Along this busy transit corridor at East Lake in Hiawatha. Well, this is concerning here, obviously, because look at where it is, right? We're at a bus stop. <laughs> It's the very stop where a couple of months of increased violent crime in the city culminated over the weekend. Left in its wake, plywood patched windows and another family grieving a loss. Nobody should have to live in fear um, just waiting for the bus or riding the train. Do you think people are? Well, yeah, I think people are. In his five years with transit police, Officer Tan says he's just about seen it all along the rails. But their biggest battle... Open drug use. Although he couldn't speak to the weekend shootings, he suspects that's driving much of the crime on this block. This is still territory for a lot of people to sell. Transit police data shows overall drug offenses are up and people reported 33% more crimes this year than in 2022. But... Police say the spike is driven largely by proactive enforcement. And there has been a 20% drop in the most serious crimes, particularly assaults. Despite the weekend, Officer Tan says it's been a better year for this block, too. We're going to be out here. But if this weekend was any indication... I know that this, this area gets a bad rep, but we do want people to feel safe out here. Officer Tan says there's been some added security, too, on the trains as well as the platforms, and that's made some of the difference in catching and deterring crime. Now, Metro Transit Police also started enforcing fair payments just this month. He says, though, it's too early to tell what kind of impact that's going to make. Live in Minneapolis, Renee Cooper, 5 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Renee.